Hey, what's up y'all? Welcome back to our YouTube channel. My name is Miss Haley from Code Speak Labs. And today I'm going to show you how to paint your own Sprite in Scratch. Yes, it is possible folks. So this goes out to all of you who are on the more artistic slash creative side. So I'm going to show you a couple of the editing tools that are available for use inside of the costume tab. You ready? Let's go. All right. So let's get straight to painting. I have a brand new Scratch project open. I got rid of Scratchy the cat and we're going to be painting our own sprite. So let's go down to choose a sprite. Don't click. We're going to hover and we're going to select the paint button and it should automatically take you to the costume section. So if you ever wondered what do these buttons actually do inside of our costume tab? Well, today you're going to find out. So we have our selector tool, we have a paintbrush, we have our fill bucket, um, we have our text button, an eraser, and we have some shapes that you can use. So let's explore some of our paint tools that we have here. So let's say, for example, that I wanted to create a sprite resembling a robot, or I wanted to create my own robot sprite. We can use some of our shapes in order to do that. So for example, I can take my circle, I can click and drag, and you can see that we have a circle. And a couple things we can do here. So we can change its color by highlighting, changing the fill, We can also change its shape. So if we click the button on the right side of our selector, we click our circle, we can actually shape shift this. Pretty cool. All right, so let's use that. And we can do the exact same thing. So let's click our square, use green sure whoops so a couple things to notice anytime you want to edit a different shape or move it around the screen you want to make sure that you're hot you're on the selector tool so that just means anytime you want to edit a shape make sure that you click the selector and then highlight whatever shape that you want to fix or edit or change all right, I don't know if I like the square. Let's stick with circles. And then we also have our lovely line tool. So, whoops. All right, a couple things. If you make a mistake and you're like, oh, I should not have clicked that button, an easy fix, you'll see two arrows. So if you want to undo, we can click the left arrow. And if you want to redo an action, we can click the right arrow. It is a very handy tool that I always use when I make a mistake. So let's see, I want to give my robot thing maybe some legs. And then maybe we'll give him some eyes as well. Let's change the shape though. All right. And then I want to paint a smile, but I realize that I really can't make a smile with a square, the circle, or the line. So I'm gonna have to draw this on myself. We can do this by using the paint brush, which is basically a tool that is free for all. Um, it's free form. So I'm just going to paint my own smile. Lovely. And then why don't we give this robot animal thing some ears? So if I draw two circles, it's 
then we'll move it around so it's not disconnected. Another thing we can do is we can click any shape on our painting and we can choose to fill it. The ear is a different color. I can click fill, the fill bucket, and just simply select which area I want to fill in. Bam, bam. And then lastly, we have our text button. So if I click the T and then I click anywhere on the screen, you will notice that we can type some letters and some text. So for example, here is my sprite. I wrote my sprite. And we can change the font, marker. We can also change the color. So if we click our selector tool, we can change it to any color that we would like. And then something cool that you'll notice, once your wonderful painting slash drawing is done, we can actually move some things around even if they're connected. So what I mean by that is if I were to click our selector tool um, and I highlight the entire thing, say for example, I want to create costumes where one costume he's facing forward and the other one he's facing upside down. If we highlight the entire painting, we can move him horizontally, vertically, so he's upside down, and then we can do forward and backwards, but we don't need that in this case. And what we can also do is we can disconnect parts of our painting as well. So click my selector tool, I click the his ear, I can move it, I can put it back, I can move his legs. Move his body. So a lot of cool things that you can do with your sprite, your painting, your sprite painting. And then say for example that I want to create another sprite. I create a sprite. Just give it like a face real quick. kind of mean, but okay. And I take my entire sprite. But say for example, I want him to go to the back of the screen. We can simply choose backward. And it will place that shape that you just selected behind whatever you chose. All right, so next time you're painting your own Sprite on Scratch, you now know which tools you can use in order to edit. All right, folks, that's all we have for today. Thank you guys for tuning in. I hope this video helps you out and next time you feel like you have the tools that you need in order to paint your own Sprite. So without further ado, my name is Coach Haley from Codespeak Labs. I'll log it off. See ya.